Chinese drywall could soon be banned in the United States. The defective sheetrock lines the walls of thousands of homes across South Florida, many from Boca Raton to, tre to the Treasure Coast, actually. But now legislation is being unveiled to keep the corrosive material out of our homes. Defective Chinese drywall has ruined the American dream for thousands of Florida homeowners. Homeowners like Port St. Lucie resident Dan Savini, who didn't know his home was lined with the hazardous sheetrock until years after he purchased it. And you, you unscrew a bulb in the ceiling and the housing of the bulb would fall off. It will be rusty. Studies show Chinese drywall corrodes electrical wiring, damages household appliances, and can lead to serious health problems. Those stark truths convinced U.S. Congressman Ted Deutsch to sponsor a bill that would ban the material in the U.S. It's about making sure first that this type of contaminated drywall is never imported into the United States again. It's never used to build the walls of the homes of American citizens. The bill would also make it U.S. policy to pressure the Chinese government to meet with U.S. representatives trying to force Chinese-owned companies that made the drywall to compensate American homeowners for their losses. Savini has been fighting for this kind of legislation since he purchased his home back in 2006. He says up until now, it's been hard to get help. It's been hectic financially and with this here burden. And nobody's helping, nobody. The government, the, the China, the builder. The builder told me, I'm not giving you a nickel. I spoke with a legal expert on the Chinese drywall matter just this evening. She told me that the mines where the Chinese drywall stemmed from are no longer in use, at least many of them. But any attempt, she said, to force the Chinese government